Hello, beautiful YouTube world. What is up? It's your girl Aubrey, and welcome back to Curve Logic. I want to apologize in advance. I don't know why, but every time I wear my glasses, like there's a glare, obviously, because of the light, but. I can't see without them, so we're gonna have to just go with the flow. Um, but yes, how are you all doing today? It's a little rainy where I am at, but I thought this was the perfect time to dive into one of my chef's kisses favorite pastimes, and that is online shopping. Okay, um, I am addicted, yes, I am, but it's because I've learned the tips and tricks and how to get the best. The bang for your buck, as we say, for my plus size clothing online. So I thought today it would be a great idea to share you my five tips and tricks when shopping online as a plus size diva. And I say, let's go shopping together. Let's buy some few things, have fun, and I'll be ready to slay the day once we're released from prison, aka quarantine. So if that interests you, then keep watching. So... I think all my plus size divas, we can all relate. Online shopping is, I feel like a jungle of madness. You never know what you're going to get. If it's the right size, will it look good on you? Because the models never represent what my body type is. And then when you're going shopping in person, baby, most of these stores don't even know how to, what a, what a plus size is. Like, am I a freaking dinosaur? No, I am a human being. Put my clothes in the stores but that's for another day but i thought it'd be a great way i have been able to navigate and find out different ways to you know maintain my fashion sense and still look flawless and i wanted to show you that today and how i managed to do all that while online shopping and being in my pajamas while doing it so without any further ado let's move on to tip number one so tip number one is research and reviews Always, 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 whether you're shopping at a new store or this is the oldie but goodie, always check the reviews and find ways to research about the website to make sure it's legit, not only legit, but how their sizing is. Like, I shop at Shein, which a lot of people don't know they're in, um, their sizes are in Chinese. So it's based on the Chinese uh, body types. So for me, I normally wear 3X plus. I have to get like a 5X there. And that is something that blew my mind when I tried to put on a little cute outfit that I bought and it could barely go up the arm. So just make sure you do your research on different types of uh, shops. And there's a lot of different, you know, shops for like UK sizing, uh, Ch China sizing. Um, I bought some stuff in India and there was different sizing for that. So always do your research and make sure you are not, you're taking precaution when buying from these sites because nine times out of ten the return policy is a mess so making sure that you do the proper precautions before will save you the hassle if you have to return or do something later so once you've checked your reviews checked the research did the proper precautions you have found your designated plus size diva site and now we move on to the actual website and that tip number two is to always go to clearance first this for me is just because I am a broke bee, but that's okay because I'm balling on a budget, but this always saves me from hurting myself in the end. If you go check the clearance first and you may find, fall in love with a whole bunch of different pieces, you are able to see what is on sale, what type of fashion and things that are going on sale now rather than what is not on sale. And another side tip that I like to do is always shop for the season before. So for me, I am currently shopping for winter and summer and for next year because a lot of things are going on sale. So right now I just bought a $30 coat off of Avenue. Baby, that coat was originally $150, but I'm going to have a coat for next year. And like those things don't really go out of trend or out of style. So Always keep that in the back of your mind when you are shopping on clearance because it will definitely help you out in the end. Now, number three is the holy grail of this entire video. If you do not listen to anything I say, please, 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 please just listen to this one. So now you have found your ideal piece. You want to try it all. You want to see what it's about. So you click it. 
make sure tip number three check the sizing charts i cannot stress this enough i have been through so many heartbreaks when it comes to clothes that i'm just assuming it's gonna fit because i put my size down no baby every single website has different sizing charts what I fit in Ashley's store is completely different from Torrid, Web Dolls, Sheen, Boohoo. So please, please, please check the sizing charts. And if you want to go a step further, I recommend you actually pull out a tape measure and do the proper measurements so you're able to see what is my exact measurements. So regardless of size chart, you can find yourself, you can find your designated size quickly. Now, I have not done that. But. I know what size I am. Also, another tip would be to find a, a store that you have like loved and been shopping at for years. Check what size you love best there and then just compare that. And that's what I've done because I don't have a tape measure. If you simply take that size chart and compare it to the size chart where you're wanting to shop at, it will be a lot easier for you and a lot less heartbreak. And <laughs> that is all I have to say about that one. Size chart, please check it. Please, please, please. So, now that you have checked the size chart, this is your dream piece. You add it to the cart, uh, and you're looking for some more. Let's look for some more. Of course, some more. <laughs> so, now I am hitting you with tip number four, and that is to step outside of your comfort zone. I have always been one mono theme. I, no matter what it is, with this, whether it's food, shows, music, I will listen to it. I will watch it. I will eat it over and over and over again until I'm tired of it. And that is not what we need to do. We need to mix and match the flavor and gather all these different types of pieces that represent us and wear that to a tee. So I recommend stepping outside your comfort zone, buying things you normally wouldn't buy, and trying it on, stepping outside, especially if it's on clearance, that saves you a little bit of more money so you're able to actually dive into experimenting with your style. You never know. Like, for me, I used to always be into t-shirt jeans or the blouse jean combo. Honey, I never wear that now because I love wearing dresses. And now I'm starting to get into, like, the 90s, old 90s vibes. So just dabble with that. And, like, literally one overall dress that I've worn for years, this red overall dress, has blessed me with so many an, an experiment an opening of all these different styles so i say test them out and this is the perfect time you're in quarantine and you can send it back if you need to test it out test out what you like where's buy something you never dreamed of yourself wearing and you never know what could happen so now that we have all the goodies and clothes galore in our shopping carts Tip number five is also very important. You need to walk away. Now, I'm not saying walk away for a long time, but leave your shopping cart open and just put it, push it to the side for at least 10 minutes. Get your mind thinking and, you know, doing something else because I don't know about you guys, but I literally put everything in my cart. It'll rank up to like 200 to 300. No one, I can't afford that. So by allowing me to walk away and then come back and re renew my thoughts and what my priorities are in my purchases, that allows me to see, okay, I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now, but I'm definitely keeping this one and this one. So by doing that, you're able to, you know, go hang out, save money. And, you know, when you come back, you'll have your final decision whether, you know, it's unconscious. You know what you wanted rather than what you thought you did before. And it ends up saving you a lot of money in the long run. So like I told you, Divas, we are balling on a budget. So tip number six is just as important. Look for a promo code. I don't know, this is not sponsored, but Honey is great for looking at all the promo codes that you need without even having to go research. You click that button and they find you all different types of promo codes, regardless of the shop. So I recommend using Honey, um, Rakuten, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, Retail Me Not, all these different sites are allowing you to not only make these purchases, but do it at a cheaper cost so you feel a lot better. And maybe you can add that shirt that you were thinking about earlier that you had to put to a side. Now you can buy it because you've saved so much money. And I think it is crucial because, honey, we all about saving 
saving coins while popping tags. Am I right? I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is fucking money. Oh, 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 Awesome. So the last tip or trick that I have for you in this plus size online shopping is to slay. Regardless of what you bought or what you're planning to buy, slay it in the best way possible. You are the owner of that piece of clothing. You know what looks good and you know what it's time to slay. And I hope you all enjoyed this video of tips and tricks to shop while being plus size online. I cannot wait to see all the amazing clothing and cute things that you have bought throughout this time. In the comments, I would love to see what you all bought, any good sales, because you know I'm balling on a budget, but it's time to shop again. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It only takes a second. I'll wait. Okay. You better have subscribed or I'm coming to find you. <laughs> but yes, stay safe, stay loved, stay humble, and don't forget to stay fabulous.